This capping strategy is so powerful that it was able to make me more than 400% in a single trade. And the beautiful thing is that even if you're a beginner, you'll be able to use this to scalp the 1 minute time frame, the 5 minute time frame, the 15 minute time frame, or even use it for higher time frame if you're a swing trader. This strategy works like magic. That is exactly what I'll be teaching you step by step in this video. And at the end of this video, you should be able with this singular um, strategy that I'm going to share with you, be able to start being profitable in your day-to-day -day futures trading, whether you're trading crypto, you're trading Forex, you're trading stock or living indices, all right? So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. And if you do gain value from the video, give it a thumbs up. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to set up these indicators, okay? Um, because I use other indicators to complement this to make sure that I filter out um, wrong signals in the market so i'm going to actually show you um the all the three free indicators that i use for this capping strategy how to set them up and how you can start using this to be profitable in your trade so let me just go ahead and remove all of these indicators then i'll add them afresh okay so when you come into trading view if you don't have an account with trading view use the link in the video description to sign up for one when you come into trading view this is what your chart looks like so you want to come up here to the um, indicators tab and click on it so the first indicator we are going to add there will be the trader okay just type in here trader xo all right so this first indicator this one here is the one we're going to add which is the trader xo so make sure that you add up this to your chart so just click on it you can favorite this okay so that you don't get to look for it next time just add this to your chart so this is what the indicator looks like okay so, so by default you can use this indicator on its own but the problem is if you use this indicator on its own um you get into trouble because there are a lot of false signals here that we need to filter out that is why we have to complement this with you know um two other indicators because the way it is now the green zone whenever these two moving lines okay this line this two lines are seen here they are all moving averages so whenever these two line crosses each other okay you always get a buy signal all right this arrow here pointing up means it is a buy signal and if you have followed this trade alone it would have been profitable and then whenever you get the arrow crossing each other down okay you get a south signal and when you follow this trade this way it would have been a profitable trade okay so in order to avoid getting you know false signals in the market we need to add two other indicators so type in here ema and then add this moving average exponential add it up to the chart and then the second indicator or the last indicator that i'll be adding up here is the macd indicator so just type in the macd and click on this first one to add it up okay so um i will start by you know making some changes to the macd and then we can equally do the same to the moving average all right so um i'll go ahead and double click on this this is how the macd looks like okay so um the green zone is where we take our buy signals and then the red zone is where we take our sell signals i'm going to explain how to use this indicator so uh, the next thing i want to do is just to you know um make some changes into this indicator by just double clicking on it when i double click on it this pops up okay so here on the input tab we want to change the fast length here to 26 just type in 26 here and then the slow length i want to make that 100 okay so once i do that i want to go to the style option once i go to the style option i want to uncheck the macd itself the macd line and then uncheck the, the signal line we don't need them okay um in this case in this strategy we just need only the histogram okay so i'll go ahead and click on okay then double click on this to take it out of the screen then the next indicator i want to make some changes to is the ema so go to the ema and then go to the setting and click on that so here on the setting i'll make sure on the style tab that i i increase okay um the thickness and then make this white all right so on the input tab i want to change the length from 9 to 200 so I'll go ahead and type in 200 and this is the only changes we are making to this indicator. Then I'll go ahead and click on OK. All right. So we are good to go. Now, what we are doing here is to use the 200 um, moving average. OK, we're using the 200 moving average. In this case, this white line here to follow the trend in the market. So we want to always take a buy signal whenever we get one. When this um, um the trader xo is trading above the 200 moving average and then we'll take a sell signal 
whenever this trader XO okay is trading below the moving average all right so now what we are looking for okay before we can take either a buy trade or a sell trade or either to long the market or to short the market what we are always looking for is a crossover okay um this other the trader xo uh, moving averages here okay the two lines must cross and be trading below the 200 moving average and then the MACD must print a green candle or a red candle depending on the direction you want to take we just got a signal here as you can see here all right so we got a signal here and then what you can see is that these candles are beginning to trade below the 200 moving average and the histogram has already started printing red candles here okay but we are not entering the trade here because we will be waiting for these two indicators these two moving average here okay to cross and be trading below the 200 moving average before we can actually take a sell trade okay so we've got um some of you know the indication that this market is going to go down but we need these other two moving averages here from the trader xo indicator to cross below okay the 200 moving average that way we can go ahead and take a trade so let's see if that plays out all right so as you can see here the two moving average from the trader exo just crossed below the 200 moving average so what we are going to do is to enter a trade here okay so we're going to enter a short trade so this is going to be our confirmation candle here all right so i'll just enter a trade by just bringing my short position to okay and then enter a trade here so once we enter a trade here we can put our stop loss somewhere around there then always target 1.5 okay um your risk reward ratio should always be 1.5 you can target more all right when the market is going in your favor you can actually adjust your stop loss to see how this um actually plays out so you can just go ahead and target you know your risk reward ratio can always be 1.5 okay risk reward ratio you can even do more if it is 2.1 whatever it is okay you can target more depending but always because we are scrapping the market we want to exit the market as early as we can all right now when you set up this okay using the short position tool you are going to put your stop loss at you know um, this red bar here then um your take profit will be the price you're seeing on the market right now okay so let's see how this plays out and as you can see this was a winning trade so you you see here that even if i follow this trade down here okay even if i follow this trade down here this would have still been a winning trade so in this case when the market is always going in your favor all you can do is just to adjust your stop loss okay um either to your entering price keep adjusting until um you follow and see that the market is now going um, in a reverse direction then you can exit the trade this is how you enter a sell signal okay so for you to short the market number one thing is that um the 200 okay when you get a signal to to you know short the market when you get a signal to short the market you must wait for these two moving averages from the trader xo indicator to cross below okay the 200 moving average which is this white line here then after that once they cross below you need to equally make sure that the macd is printing red candles okay it's printed red candles below the zero line so once this is met once all these conditions are met you go ahead and take a short position all right so the next thing i want to show you is how to take a long position now to take a long position okay we do the opposite of what we do when we take a short position all right so what we're going to do is to wait for that opportunity to take a long position so we continue to observe the market and as the market continue to move okay um now for the long position we are waiting for a crossover of the trader xo indicator okay to cross above the 200 moving average and we just got that confirmation right now okay so we got a signal here but we're not going to enter here because um as at when we got this signal the macd started printing green candle yes but we're not going to enter yet so we we'll have to wait for these two lines to cross above the um 200 moving average okay and that happens somewhere around there so what i can do right now is to bring my long position to and enter a trade okay once we have these two crossover um i'm facing upward okay above the 200 moving average then we'll go ahead and enter a trade somewhere around there okay you bring your stop loss somewhere down here then you can target 
one um point five or two or three okay even if i target um let's say three point one or there but this would have still played that because all of these um conditions are met All right, so after a few, um, okay, some hours or there about, if I come in here, okay, I'm bringing this, you see that this would have played out, okay, this would have played out and this would have been a winning trade. So as you can see here, this is a one trade and if we have followed this trend, okay, we would have made more money by locking in more profit for ourselves. So this is how simple it is to use this um, scalping strategy, okay, using just three free indicators on the trading view um, to actually spot opportunities to long or short the market. So we are using combination of the MACD, the moving average, and then the trader XO indicator because we don't want to be victims of false signals. All right. So for you to be able to use this um, scalping strategy effectively, whether on the one minute time frame, on the five minutes, 15 minutes, or even on higher time frame. Okay, whenever you get a signal, okay, whenever you get a buy signal from the trader XO indicator, make sure that the two moving averages from the trader XO indicator are trading or crossing over the um, 200 moving average. Okay, and then that way you can now we got the signal here. Okay, and then Mark D started printing green candle, but we are not going to enter a trade yet. We only enter when these two moving average from the trader XO crosses over the 200 moving average so now that you have that crossover that confirmation you can enter your trade and as you can see this was actually a winning trade the same thing happens whenever you get a sell signal okay whenever you get the sell signal the confirmation is the same all right so you want to make sure that for instance you get a sell signal here you get a sell signal here okay and then this is um these two moving averages were trading okay from the trader xo were trading below the 200 moving average all right and then macd printed a red candle here so you would have taken this trade and if we have target the 1.5 okay always make sure that your risk reward ratio is 1.5 so that that way if the market continues to go in your favor you can now follow the trend by adjusting your stop loss so if for instance i've taken this trade here if for instance i've taken this trade here okay um let's say our entry was somewhere around here and then we target just bring your stop loss either to the previous um swing low or swing high depending on the position you are taking okay and I've, if i've target 1.5 this would have been a winning trade as you can see this would have been a winning trade then if the market continues to go in your favor you can adjust your stop loss or adjust your take profit level and follow the trend so this is how simple it is to use this capping strategy to always lock in profit on a daily basis for yourself. I hope this you do gain value from this video. If it, you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a nice comment in the comment section. Now, if you want to try these strategies, okay, I always advise new traders, you want to look for opportunity to trade. Um, currently, you can trade with zero fee on the gate.io exchange. You can check the links in the video description to sign up for any of the exchange you prefer to sign up with. But I recommend gate.io because you can trade with zero fee and a lot of opportunities you can get from the gate.io exchange that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video